Hello once again and welcome to Those Aren't Biscuits Let's Play. Right now we're playing Destiny as we were before and the time before that and the time before that. Uh, hope you're not getting sick of Destiny because I'm not and while a new game for a Let's Play series is probably on the horizon, for right now we're going to stick with Destiny. All right, and we are still on this quest line, so we're going to get that going right now. I got it set up to go and launch. And I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't know what to talk about today. Uh, it's been kind of a kind of a hazy day for me. Uh, I, I did my day job today, which was uh, pretty smooth. Um, which, <laughs> the, the funny thing is, is I... On days of my day job, I when they when they go like smooth, I kind of feel like I I get dull, like like my brain just dulls down. Uh, on, on the days where things are just you know crises after crisis after crisis, and you know I have to take care of them, and you know you're handling this situation and that situation, and it's all going to hell in the handbasket, and everyone's like, oh my god, what do we do? Like that's when I feel my sharpest. Like, I can just take on the world. I can think a mile a minute. Uh, a response, a comment, a word, anything. I can just bam, like that. And it's, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think that's unique in any way. I think there's a lot of people who just Omnicle, works like that. She's back. Vanguard scouts report she's undone her death. <laughs> Undone her death? You make it sound hmm. like she pulled her knitting apart. Eris would tell you not to make light of this. Eris can go. Eris can go get fucked. Like, ah. Oh. I'm gonna. And any lingering threats. You know. You know, like I've said a hundred times before, like I, I, I dig the lore and stuff like that. But there's sometimes when it's just like, yeah, just let's get to the damn point. Well, that's fair. Oh, hmm. that's sweet. I mean, the problem being is you're a robot, Cade. Um, but hey, uh, oh really? Um, like I uh, like I brought up before, I have no idea what the you know the the what kind of society live anymore. Like maybe it's. May they do just marry robots. I'm not gonna judge. Hmm. Equality, right? <laughs> oh, hello. We got Olga right off the bat, and we got this accolade. Bye. Bye. Oh, no, no, no. You and your fucking death laser. I want a death laser. Saw you. Oh, 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 there are multiple ogres. Hi, guys. <laughs> you know, I, I always kind of thought about this, actually. You know, with things that shoot lasers from their eyes. You know, Cyclops from the X-Men and Superman and ogres, apparently, you know. Uh, do they still see? Like, can they still see? You know, that... Because, like, you'd imagine that'd get difficult. Right? Or it's just like, oh, you know, I'm gonna shoot my laser at you, and oh my god, it's all purple! Everything's purple! Hmm. Pretty sure that didn't hit anything. Oh, that's no good. Hey, still here. Oh, oh, you just stop. You know? J jeez. You're always so testy. <clears throat> oh, I'm almost gonna die. Time to move. Oh, ooh. What would. Hmm. Someone's. 
But no, that's like that's absolutely something like my mother would do, you know? She would she would, you know Oh, oh, you stop it. You uh but you know, I, I love my mother dearly, you know, I'm and I'm not gonna like, try to bash her too much, but she's definitely one to be like like mom, this kind of bugs me. Oh, it does, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a thousand times. And oh you why are you so upset all the time, you know? Like, I think that might just be a parent thing, you know? Granted, I'm not a parent. Oh my, wow, they're really just throwing it at me, huh? Uh, you know, I'm not a parent by any means, but I, you know, I am a human being, so, and as far as I'm aware, most parents are, in fact, human beings. Uh, so I, <laughs> You know, I know what it's like the, the the exact that subtle revenge. You know, like that, like oh yeah, yeah. You know, you're the reason why my, you know, my income has you know been tied up in other less fun things dramatically. You know, and like oh, I remember not being able to sleep and uh, when you were a baby. Um, so, you know, now that you're a little bit older, and I can, uh, you know, what the hell are the splicers doing here? Oh, hello. Um, you know, now that you're a little older, and you, you're kind of finding your way, and, you know, you're defining yourself by the things that bother you, and the things that don't, and, you know, maybe I just kind of, you know, fuck with that a little bit, you know? Oh, that was pretty. I don't care. I'm. Oh, that is a lot of. That is a lot. That. Oh, yep. Nope. Oh, that's. That's not okay. Yep. Saw that. Ooh. Man, that. Hmm. That was a lot. Man, it'd be. It'd be really nice if I had a. You know. A team here. Oh, don't make me have to kill the... Oh, I have to kill the ogres again. Yeah, hey, it's me. Still me. Ah, bugger. Don't know why I just said that. Like, I've never said that in my life. Bugger. That's... That's a thing. I've been talking to Owen too much lately, I guess. I don't even know if he says that. Where did I get that from? That's... Uh, like I said, you know... That's what that's what I get for not having a, a hard day at work, you know? You, you, your, your brain just goes weird places, you know? Oh, oh, that, that's almost getting bad. Oh, <laughs> I did I just really try and knife an ogre? That could have been Huh. Die. Uh But yeah, you know, back to the parent thing, like I I have to imagine that, you know, when when my mom does stuff like that, you know, it's like like, hey, like please, you know, this is really bothering me, like this is annoying me and she keeps doing it, it's like she knows what she's doing. She knows. Uh, oh, I do got a got a buddy now. Yay! You don't see me. Yeah, get glocked. Oh, come on. The other ogre wasn't even dead yet. Get off my dick. Uh. Oh, are they shooting at each other? That's helpful.
and goodbye. Oh, I don't know. What, 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 what's your guys' relationship with, like with your parents? I know that's sometimes a touchy subject. Ah, um, but yeah, leave a comment. You know, because you know, for the most part, I actually have a fairly good relationship with my parents. Um, wasn't always like that, you know, because uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. But, you know, we've gotten to the point where things are actually pretty good. Um, and honestly, I think one of the big, one of the big things was, oh, you, uh, one of the big things is that, like, my, my parents never really, you know, did the kid thing with me. Like, not, not that, like, oh, like, oh, you know, he didn't have a childhood. Like, I did. I had actually a really nice childhood. Um, fun. A lot of you know, a lot of adventure and a lot of, uh, all that. Damn. Hey, buddy, you wanna, wanna come get me? I'm right here. Yeah, there's my man. Well, that was fun. Now I'm kind of interested in Icora's Crucible days. Well done, get me interested. Uh, but like... The Cosmodrome is turning into a breeding ground for Hive and Siva. It's like oh. one big, disgusting Petri dish. Hmm, Petri dish. Oh god, I hate the wizards. I can't. I don't. I'm not sure if they're my least favorite uh, enemies, but god, they gotta be up there. Just, just annoying as all hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see ya. Will you stop it? Uh, but you know, like. How some parents are like super protective and like they they try to like hide their kids from like the real world for as long as possible. And the thing is like I'm not I don't hold that against those like the real world kind of sucks, you know? Like it's it can be a kind of not a fun place. Um And so, you know, I, I can understand the the desire to, you know, protect, you know, your child from that. You know, because, you know, it's from ours, from what I understand, you know, that's kind of the, kind of the main goal of a parent, you know, and protect their kids, you know. And, uh, but, like, my, my parents weren't quite like that. They weren't, oh, no, 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 I hate those things. Stop following me. Oh, every time. How do you escape those things? Um, but yeah, like... My, my parents didn't try to shield me from things. They didn't uh, talk down to me in any, any way. They, you know, it was... You know, they, they told me how it is. And they didn't try to like um like with swearing it was never like oh that son of a biscuit or uh fricky fracky fricky you know nothing like that it, it was always you know straightforward like they you know if they wanted to say you know fuck that guy or you know you piece of shit they were gonna say it you know there was Yeah, let's do that. I'm down. Just don't know where. Is it this way? Oh, let's be this way. He knows where he's going. I'll follow him. Evil GTR 35.
I'm not gonna make the joke. You know that 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 there's that joke where every see a number at the end of someone's name. It's like, hmm, are the other ones all taken? Thirty-five might mean something very important to him, and I don't wanna. I don't wanna diminish that. But he is moving very quickly. Wait, I'm coming. Oh, he's just going for it. I'm with you. Let's do this. Oh, now you want to stop. And, uh... So, yeah, I, like, some of my favorite memories uh, as a child, and this is sad that these are, like, my favorite memories, um, but it's just... You know, it's the kind of stuff that sticks with me. It was uh, growing up in Milwaukee. Uh, traffic sucked. Uh, um, and and I've driven, I've uh, driven in Milwaukee. You know, as an adult, and no, it's terrible. Like it, it, it oh, I can't stand it. Um, so my dad, who who did most of the driving, uh, he, he would get a, he would get a um. Oh, hello, Omnigool. Um, he he would get a you get a case of the road rages, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he would just let it fly, you know. Just there was no doubt, you know, that he was upset. <laughs> uh. You know, it was, you know, some guy would cut him off, and that, you know, that guy was, you know, no, no, oh, oh, got away from it, sort of. Uh, you know, that guy might as well have been a war criminal, you know, like, the guy was just, you know, you cocksucking piece of shit, motherfucker, blah, 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 you know, just, my dad would just go. And, uh, you know, and as a kid, you know, like, like I said, my parents never tried to, you know, shield me from that. So to me, it was, that shit was funny, um, you know, which is also, also probably why, you know, I also didn't have that reaction that a lot of kids did, uh, you know, hearing swears for the first time, uh, you know, in school, you know, you, your friend, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, your friend drops an F bomb for the first time in, you know, third grade or whatever. And it's like, oh, you know, like to me, it was just like, whatever, you know? Like, yeah, you swore. Congrats, buddy. Uh, and it's just, uh, it was, and, and the best part, too, is that my. <laughs> It wasn't like, uh, you know, I was allowed to use that language, you know? Like, and that, that was the big thing, is like, I, my parents were, you know, if they heard me, you know, use that kind of language, oh boy, you know, did I, did I get in trouble? But, you know, at the same time, like, I think at a certain point they just realized, like, well, you know, how do we justify this, you know? <clears throat> I, like, how, how do we justify this and still, and, and uh, and still, you know, you know, somehow let our kid understand the concept of like justice and fairness, you know, and, and you know, I think that, uh, I don't envy, uh, a, you know, parents at all, because they got they kind of got a rough job, they got a rough um, go of it, because like they're gonna act the way they're gonna act. Um, you know, as people, you know, they're, they're still people, and a lot of times the way they act is a way that's contradictory to you know how they want their kids to act. Like, so you know, my my parents are like, okay, they they want me to understand fairness. So, uh, at one you know, in one hand, it's uh, you know, okay, well if we're gonna do it. You know, we, we're not gonna, you know, say you can't, you know, because, you know, that's not fair. You know, 
But at the same time, like, y you know how many times I heard growing up, you know, it's like, well, oh, well, you know, life's not fair. You know, <laughs> that, 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 you know, that, that real bitter uh, response to things. Um, where is this person of ill repute? Okay. All right, here we go. Damn. He got me. He got me good. Man, I want that. Kill. Kill him. Yeah, like a champ. Top Gun. Man, that's a good movie. Top Gun. If you guys never seen Top Gun, man, that is a treat. Uh, 80s movie about fighter pilots and all that. Like, it, it, you know, I watched it not too long ago. It, it holds up surprisingly well. Um, uh, I mean, there's definitely some, some parts of it that's like mm -hmm. uh, but you know I mean honestly it might hold up even better now because you know it was it was uh, it was still done uh, you know uh, I wouldn't say in the height of the Cold War but you know those those feelings were still still real, you know? Oh, shit. I tried, buddy. I tried. Uh, he'll revive soon. Don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, you did it. Man, I forgot how much that was a good shot. I don't care who you are. Like, fuck you. Man, what the hell keeps on hitting me? God, you guys are the worst. I'm invisible. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, get fucked. Oh, will you let it go? That's right, you're getting glocked. Or assuming I can hit you. There you go. Good night, sweetheart. Do I have a shell key? I don't think so. Let me talk to her. Oh, I don't want to talk to Eris. She's the worst. But yeah, I don't know. Like ugh, the parent thing, man. Like I don't think I'm. Maybe someday, someday I might be ready for kids, but not in the foreseeable future. It's like I don't even. Here's the thing, like, I got nothing against kids. I don't. I got, my issue is that kids aren't adults yet. You know, and it's not entirely their fault. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit. But it's like, I, I can't, I can't make the distinction where it's like, if I'm talking to an adult and be like, you know, explain something like, oh, like, oh, hey, I, you know, just learning about, you know, the finer points of determinism the other day, and, uh, you know, like maybe have a conversation like that. 
you know, but if a kid comes up to me is and like, you know, T Rex is my favorite dinosaur. It's like, well, did you know that your concept of a T Rex is probably false? Uh, they most likely did not have those tiny arms, and there's a good chance that the wrong head went on the wrong body, and all that. You know, it's I I don't, I don't have that ability to be like, oh, I like the T Rex too, or you know, my favorite is the Stegosaurus. Uh, it's I just don't have that that thing that I don't know is it a filter is it you know just a switch and, and that's another thing like having kids what really terrifies me is like instilling in them all my own weird fucking thoughts and uh, you know personal conspiracy theories you know and shit like that uh, you know it's like, oh, today we learned about how, you know, bills become laws. And it's like, well, in all reality, most of those bills were funded by a lobby with a special interest. And, you know, they've now instilled on you a law that is more self-serving to them than, you know, just this shit like that, you know. And kids don't need that. They don't. Like, they should be allowed to uh, just enjoy kind of blissful ignorance for a while. You know, fuck adults. We we should have a little bit more of that sometimes. Uh, <clears throat> but you know, just just shit like that, where it's, uh, you know, uh, Tanya in class. Uh, you know, Tanya says that her grandma passed, and you know now she's a star in the sky. It's like, well, honestly, those stars in the sky are actually burning balls of gas. You know, billions of miles away. Um, her grandma is actually either buried or burned to ash you know but she, you know whatever well is she in a happier place I don't think she's anywhere honestly I think she's just nothingness uh, you know and then, and then my kid goes on and like tells Tanya who's you know mourning the loss of her grandma and it's like you know daddy says that your your grandma is actually just buried in the ground and she's in a realm of nothingness because nothing exists after that that's a call to school I don't want to deal with you know like uh, it's just all that shit kind of scares me as you know as a person who's you know uh, actually kind of has shot up uh but you know as a as a you know adult who is you know has already reached that age where people have kids and I'm actually kind of getting to the further edge of you know of that uh yeah that that fear hasn't gone away I I, I and don't get me wrong like I know a lot of parents are, you know, scared up until the day they have the kid or, and throughout the the childhood. But there's also, like, a, a desire for the kid. <laughs> and I have neither. I don't have a desire or courage to raise one. And it's just, you know, sorry, unborn child. It's the way it is. Oh, hey. Wow, that was ominous. I don't believe you. Oh my god. You're, you know, you are almost getting as bad as Eris. You're just lucky you have that voice, that Billy D. Williams voice. Keep an eye on Eris. I, still don't trust her. I just don't like her. Colt 45. Every time. Hell yeah. All right. Well, we wrapped up that quest line, and I don't know if I have any uh, ready to go uh, right at the beginning. So I will work on this off video. Maybe I get us set up to chase down another quest line, and we'll, you know, see it to the end. Or, you know, we'll just fuck around doing something else, huh? Good times had by all. Once again, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, please, please like slide. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know that whole whole song and dance. But you know they say it for a reason because it does help. Uh, the comments and the likes and the the subscriptions, 
all really help us. Uh, if you're already subscribed and you know and a fan, share it with your buddies. You know, you know, just some click like, hey, you guys want to be on the the foundation on the 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 bleeding edge of a new community? Now is your chance. Like you get to be an early adopter. You get to be, you know, one of the founding members. You know, this is your chance. Seize it. It is yours. Take it. Uh, but yeah, and <laughs> uh, yeah, just to finish up my my normal spiel here. Uh, yeah, you can catch the podcast that I do with my buddy Owen Adams, uh, aka the British Gamer, uh, every Monday, three thirty Central Time, some other time, British Standard Time, and other time zones. And you know, you have access to the internet for a reason. Use it. Uh, just you know, it's not just for porn. I know what you're doing. I can see it. Uh, yeah. Have a good one.